right, TV Musings time with the new series of Containment. Containment. <laughs> hey everyone, it is Shannon. I am here to talk about another new series. There is the series premiere of Containment, season one, episode one, pilot. Um, and this aired this week on the CW. It is actually also available on the global website, and the pilot will be re-airing next Monday on global so you have lots of opportunities to check it out and I am uh, and the premise of the show as you can tell kind of by the title maybe that this is about an outbreak a disaster um, it's a disaster themed outbreak show I love stuff like this I always am a big fan of outbreaks I don't know why it's kind of kind of weird um, but this one there is a deadly virus, highly communicable, uh, highly contagious virus, and it ends up putting part of the city of Atlanta on lockdown. Now I'm going to talk about the first episode pretty, pretty in depth, um, but they do tend to jump around. So like some, they showed scenes from looks later on. So I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, intending to be spoiler E, just to sort of give you a sense of what the pilot was like to see whether or not you would be interested in watching it. Now the the tone of it so far, it does start off more like a, a drama, you know, and but you can tell it'll get into thriller slash horror territory because this, you know, virus when it's, it, gets pretty ugly and pretty messy and pretty bloody. Um, so I think we're going there and there's definitely sort of like the high alert status thriller vibe of, you know, this this can will get really, really bad. So the cool thing though is that it actually follows people from different perspective. Um, Claudia Black is in it. I love Claudia Black, huge fan. She was in Pitch Black and Farscape and She's just amazing. So she plays sort of like a, a government type, uh, type of suit kind of type of the sort of like, you know, nobody gets to know more than they are allowed to know kind of, but definitely she seems to know everything kind of person. And then we have um, two cops that we're following, Lex, who looks like he's going to be sort of the public face um, of the police, letting people know things are okay. And then there's also a cop that was in contact with patient zero um, and is in containment, is within the containment. Actually, he's contained within the containment because they contain an area but then they also can he's in the lockdown of a hospital um, and then we also there is a pregnant girl who her family very pregnant her family I think wants her to give the baby up for adoption but she and her I think boyfriend want to keep the baby so that family sort of like spread out all over um, and then we have a woman who was taking a bunch of school kids onto a trip to the hospital so there's a whole bunch of kids you know and then this I don't know if she's a teacher I couldn't quite figure that out um and um but she's sort of like you know taking care of the kids and then we also have Lex's girlfriend and him and her are on opposite sides of the containment and then patient zero uh and his family so for me, there was like, that's a lot to take in. So definitely a huge pro of the show is it had all of that going on. It was fairly understandable. I, again, there was, I, I was, I didn't pick up right away that the two cops appear to be friends because the cop that's in the hospital is really not happy. And I was like, you know, sure. But then I figured out his the other cop sentiment and may or may not have known how strong, how, uh, crazy the situation was. Um, so that was that was the, one of the only points of confusion that I had. Um, but other than that, it had all of these different people, all of these different threads, all of these different, you know, stories and connections and relationships. And it was very clear. I really liked that. Um, I also really liked that it has, um, it's uh, a lot of these shows can, there has a, there's, there's, it, there were, there are a couple of moments that could have been sort of political and and go to the land of bias, but they actually went to the land of compassion, which I appreciate. Um, so that like not to like play the stereotype, they would actually you know look at it from a more compassionate, more neutral perspective. So I really appreciated that because um, that's also something. Anything that has to deal with you know uh, containment, anything that has to do with like people being forced 
into having to not leave a situation or being a stress in a stressful situation where they can't leave can often get really bad really fast in terms of um, fear going high and people and isms coming out and so far it hasn't done that so I'm I'm impressed by that um, I also thought there were a fair amount of likable characters Lex the cop is very likable Claudia Black's character is not likable <laughs> well you you figure that she's you know she's gonna I wouldn't even say make the hard decisions it's kind of there's just this distance with her that you just get this vibe that you know she's uh no knows more than she lets on and kind of stuff but she's it's a great character um the other cop is a very likable character the pregnant girl her family actually everyone i felt like you felt compassion for them so i appreciated that it wasn't um point the finger there's definitely fear for sure but not um a lot of uh of of like anger wasn't at people it was more at the situation so that i appreciated a lot um on the other on the con side for me there there was lots of it not told chronologically some flash forwards day one it started day one happened but not right at the beginning of the episode and then right at the end of the episode they they go forward you don't know what day it is and it's like totally everything where you can have it but it's like you have no idea how far that is in the future and then like after that they showed the preview for next week this is on the cw i watched on the cw and then they started to show the preview for next week so not only like within the episode did you see ahead of what would happen then you would also see ahead to possibly what's further ahead so for me that doesn't work so I just sort of, you know turn the channel at that point because I don't want to know that much but even in the episode it flashes and forth I know that's a huge style they use it in lots of shows it was in it's in so many shows Quantico uses it a lot and it just doesn't work for me but I like the show enough that I'm willing to not, try not to get too freaked out about that <laughs> and also I can understand that if you want to know like it's it's intriguing to know a little bit of where it's going um but for me just situationally I can tell like oh well you know this situation which looked like it was uh not going to change it did change so and then there's also the layer of how did it change you know i i, I want to know i don't want to know that it changed i want to know all the possibilities are possible as opposed to this is where it'll go eventually so that's just more of a personal thing um and also like the, it actually is it is quite gross um so be forewarned for that it doesn't bother me too much but i know that that's not for everyone it's very like you know it gets pretty bloody and graphic in terms of uh you know the what happens to <laughs> people who are affected um there's not and i feel like it was kind of cool that there wasn't you know, there were, like, there's some talk of, like, how it happened, but you more see the, right now, it's more seeing the effects on uh, people that aren't affected yet, like, that are sort of, like, within, either within the zone that could be affected, and then outside the zone. And so that's kind of interesting, too, like, the sort of, like, you know, no one can go in, no one can go out, which asks, I wonder, where's Claudia Black's character? That's what I want. Her name's Sabine. So where's Sabine? I can't, I thought she was in, but if she's in, she's definitely going out. I don't think she's going to stay. So anyway, so there's, there's lots of little, little bits in there that are like, you know, how, how's that going to work or how's this going to play out? So, and I thought it was really nice to see a cool, a pretty even balance, uh, gender balance between women in power and men in power. Um, and so that was really cool. And, and I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so there was a lot to love. I really liked, as I said, Claudia Black's character, and I also really liked the character of Lex. Um, and uh, I like that different sort of friendships and relationships have started to form. You can sort of start to get a vibe of where things are going to go in terms of that. But then in terms of the actual virus and outbreak and stuff, it's just like, it kind of just feels like it's going to go completely insane. So how long, how long is that going to take? Um, and the people that have been affected are just toast very quickly. Um, so, but it kind of has a vibe that maybe there, there's, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be more than that. It'll be more than that. Like the havoc seems to be not just the fear of being infected, but something more, but I couldn't tell what that is. So it definitely has some more intrigue there. So there you go. That's Containment, uh, season one, episode one pilot. As I said, you can watch it on the global website and they will rebroadcast the pilot next week on Monday where they'll show actually episode one and two. And then it's a uh, schedule on the CWs on Tuesday nights. So I'll leave all that information below. Let me know. Did you check out in Containment? Do you like outbreak shows like I do? Um, and, uh, and what your thoughts are? 
talk. So there you go. Continue. Thanks for watching.